Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be doing a full moon in Scorpio weekly prediction, seeing what is going to be happening for you guys in the next week leading up to the 18th, I think, or the 21st. I'm not sure, it's one of those. <laughs> one of those when the full moon is in Scorpio. Not gonna lie, you guys, I have been really kind of the Taurus new moon has been really affecting me at the moment so I don't know if you guys are feeling it but I've been feeling pretty stubborn than about anybody else but I'm just going to basically say if you want to skip to uh, any of the groups I'll put some time stamps down below in the comments and in the description but I just have one more thing to say that I definitely feel like this week is going to be transitioning there's like the word transitioning is like really prominent at the moment so if you guys feel like you need to go for a transition or you're going for a transition or there's just some sort of transition that's happening yeah, there's going to be a transition happening if you're not feeling it already. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going to be going down. So if you would like to choose a group now, we have group one, group two, group three, and group four. And we're just going to see what your weekly prediction is. So let's start off with group number one. Okay, hello group number one. Let's see what you guys got. We have the rose quartz crystal, which is so pretty. I love it. I love it. No, I just dropped it. <laughs> so we have creative expression, detoxification, honouring your true feelings and we also have open to infinite possibilities and watch your thoughts. So I just burped so I feel like you guys are coming like stuff is coming out starting to come out. I feel like you guys are really detoxifying and essentially you guys are coming out of old patterns. They're telling me old family patterns there's a massive blockage around this group because I feel like you guys are, I think this is my group as well because sometimes I don't resonate with the ones that I do but today I really feel like this could be my group because I feel like there's a blockage that's being shifted and it's almost like I'm seeing like a massive rock and it's like a rock that's being really shifted and it's taking a lot of effort to push it. It's like there's a hole in the ground and there's a massive rock on top of it and all the good stuff is underneath in this hole like with gold and gorgeous possibilities but there's massive rock on top of it and you're basically having to push this rock kind of away from this hole so you're like you've really got to put in all your effort to really get rid of this blockage so you can open up all this good stuff so that's basically what I'm seeing so I'm seeing a lot of negative thinking I feel like you are either at a standstill or you're kind of overthinking things you're in a really negative space I feel like mentally and you're having to need you need to honor your true feelings that is coming up if you're feeling angry if you're feeling sad if you're feeling like for fuck's sake i want a relationship stuff like that Th these things are coming up because you, you're going to re be releasing them and you're going to be sorry just my crystal you're going to be moving on to something that's even more better than what you have now and uh, trust me you will be moving on because there's so much with the detoxification right in the middle this is amazing especially the fact that we've got the starfish spirit number 59 Fives and nines could be really, really good for you. And also, this is also the number 14, which could relate to number five again. So, we have the starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. So, there is infinite possibility coming for you this week and obviously onwards after this week as well. Just make sure to watch your thoughts with any negativity that's coming in. And it says it's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So I definitely feel like you guys are moving from fear-based to openness. And I have had this chat with a few people basically saying that if... And I feel like this is coming up a lot with people. Is there's this empty space when you let go of old fears because you're moving into something new. But the new thing hasn't come through yet. And the new thoughts haven't been like engaged in yet. As in like new patterns haven't been kind of engaged in. So essentially it means that there's an empty space in between the old and the new. So you're kind of in limbo right in the middle. And I feel like you guys are going to need to um, really get into your creativity and things that really suit you. And this is going to help you to move through because it's also, they're telling me one, it's a distraction. And two, it's going to, they're going to cultivate something. It's going to create something in you that helps you flow. And it's going to help your mind flow as well. It's going to help um, the mind fog clear they're telling me mind fog clear and basically that's basically what it is it's just a lot of detoxification this is really really good I love this this is just clearing out all the old stuff and basically once you've done this the new stuff is going to come in so essentially either you could be clearing this week or you could be um, bringing in new things or both you could be clearing and bringing in new things so it just depends on every single person everyone's different 
but obviously if it doesn't resonate then let it fly but i definitely feel like this is something that's going to be really good i definitely feel like it's cultivating and weaving in like as in like making something it's like cultivating a new life almost because i feel like i'm really looking into this girl and she's kind of like weaving like a little web so she's basically creating something new and i just feel like this is definitely for you guys where you're creating something new for yourself so let's see what we have in the week also, I feel they need to pull the Romance Angel card, so let's do that for you guys. What does Group 1 need to know about their relationships? And things that are coming in, please. Anything I need to know, thank you. Honeymoon and Attraction, love that. Gorgeous, oh, they need to be around that way. Like that, okay. Can we have three more, please? Three more, thank you. This one. Finances and Career let go of control issues and let your friends help you so i don't feel like it could be some sort of struggle going on but it's all going to be really really good so we've got let go of control issues i feel like is to do with your attraction and we also have soulmate at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you guys are attracting in a new soulmate i feel like you need to kind of figure out your financial career and how you deal with the control around that and i thought like this is definitely relating to me so um, yeah, so basically in the middle we have honeymoons. So once all of this is kind of dealt with, there's going to be a gorgeous kind of opening and you're going to be travelling to somewhere new. It doesn't mean physical travel, you could just be travelling as in like you're going to be in a new space with your romantic life. And basically once you figure out um, and clear the old stuff, there's going to be some control issues that are going to be let go of. And I feel like your friend is going to really help you to do this. Also, it just helps to communicate stuff clearly with somebody if you're having issues. And to also, this is going to help you with your attraction as well. Once you kind of remove blockages, I feel like it's going to be an energetic shift in your attraction. And you're almost going to look differently to some people, which will attract new people in for you. Isn't it? Not that look differently, but you're going to have more of like an aura around you that's kind of more mag magnetising sort of thing. Um, and I feel like finances and career could be an issue in your love life at the moment essentially you could be blocked from somebody because maybe you don't have enough money to see them or they don't have enough money to see you or you're dealing with money issues they're dealing with money issues and which is why you can't really come together right now that sort of thing a lot of 3d issues but that's basically what i'm getting but essentially there is a stomach coming in for you it's just having that patience really and i believe you guys can do it so let's see what we have for each day of the week so what's going to happen on monday for group number one please whoa these cards came flying out jesus christ i thought that's what's gonna happen for you guys things are just gonna come flying in you're gonna be like holy shit i did not realize that was gonna happen so monday 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 and clarified by the empress gorgeous okay so we've got some energy moving through we got some possible communication from someone on Monday. We also have coming to, I definitely feel like you, oh my God, they're telling me you two, you're coming together with someone because he's almost moving towards the Empress. So you've worked on yourself, you Empress, you could be man or woman, not gender specific, but you're moving towards this, like this, this person, your partner, or someone you're interested in is moving towards you. If you don't have anyone right now, then they could, they could be moving towards you. You just can't see it right now. Um, obviously this doesn't relate to people in a relationship but this could also be many different things this could be a work opportunity this could be um, a friendship that sort of thing but I definitely feel like opportunity is really really happening and both of you I've noticed are holding like a star so I feel like you're just going to really come together and, and go synchronize really nice again they're telling me synchronicity mirroring and what's the other word Sim similarities like simultaneously so you're going to be like mirroring each other so everything is going to move they're telling me everything's going to move it's going to be okay also look out for number three and number five so tuesday we have the nine of cups with the queen of cups gorgeous so emotional stability this could this, is, this could literally mean that once you're together with this person emotions are going to be more still more stable this could also just mean um you you are more emotionally stable with your money as well just general emotional stability i think is really good you're just like content as well wednesday we have the two of wands they're telling me that's in reverse okay clarified with
clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be a little bit confused on your direction, um, but you're kind of figuring out money. So you could want to travel, but you don't have the money right now. Um, you could also want to see someone, but the money issue. So you could actually come together with somebody and then figure out you might not have enough money to see them. But I feel like you're going to resolve this. This is literally like something so small. I'm seeing it's something so small. Um, yeah, there's lots of infinite possibilities around this, but I definitely feel like once... I think once you end the week, this isn't going to be an issue anymore. So it's going to be a very small issue. But can you see there's a lot of like, um, like queen energy and the empress. We've got a lot of like strong female, fe as in strong feminine energy, which is really gorgeous. I love this. What's happening Thursday, please? Thursday for group one. We have the nine of wands with... Oh, two cards four of wands and the eight of wands so we have going towards emotional stability you might be a little bit kind this is definitely this is literally like a love story between two people so if you are waiting for communication i definitely feel like this could actually happen because we've got the victory and we've also got movement forward so let's see what way what they move are basically moving towards the, the four of wands but let's see what else are they moving towards please what are they moving towards whoa okay Okay, so we have the two of cups and the five, the set, blah, 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 six of wands. So we have victory and we have um, communication moving towards each other, which is gorgeous. I love that we got this card actually because it means that you are trying to let go of the past. You're letting go of um, things that you've always, always held on to to do with relationships. And this could also do with anything. This could also do with money. This could be a new job. That sort of thing. That the opportunity is presenting itself and it's your choice whether to take it or not. Friday, please. Three of Swords with King of Swords. So there could be a little bit of, yeah, I feel like this is to do with this from the day before. There's a little bit of kind of, I'm, I'm getting the word concentration. So I'm not sure what that is. It's basically like you're concentrating on the right path, which is, I think this is good. It's a lot of, a lot of mind energy, but I think this is going to turn out okay. Knight of Swords for Saturday and the Sun, gorgeous. And we also have Four of Pentacles. Whoa, that's really weird. I literally just felt everything shift. That's so weird. I felt like the whole card um, thing just moved. Everything just moved. That was really weird. Oh, we got a massive shift going on here. So on Sunday, you could be shifting into something new. The World card with the ace of swords hello oh my god this is gorgeous so okay saturday and sunday is gonna be really good you're moving towards um something really really happy and we've got a definite like yes card so if you're kind of questioning something about something improving or something changing or just what should i do the answer is yes but they're telling me and also just try not to hold on to too much onto the past and move forward in a direction that you want to move forward don't look back in the past and make sure to keep balance with your emotional and mental state. So thank you for watching guys. If this helped you then let me know. Um, and if you would like to subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl. All the information is down below. Click that red subscribe button. If you want to give it a like. Comment down below. And also I am doing a sale on my 25 minute readings. If you would like a 25 minute reading for £19.95. Then that information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two, thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here, I appreciate you so so much. Let's see what you guys have for the week coming up for the full moon in Scorpio. We have making new friends, make music, rise above problems, electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life and you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. So, I feel like you guys are in a period of definite transition. You are wanting to get a career change, I feel like, or like a new hobby or a new project. You're rising, you're trying to rise above all the problems that you've had in the past or something that's recently been hurting your heart. And I keep brushing um, my collarbones and like my the top of my chest. So I feel like you're trying to um, clear some old energy, old emotions, um, something to do with like an ex I'm seeing, maybe um, a partnership. That you're letting go of now you're you're giving yourself permission to let go of that which is really nice 
and you're honouring um, the things that make you happy as well, which is really, really good. So if you feel like you're in a bit of a stagnant energy at the moment, um, you're being helped with this, and just know that if you can't see results right now, it doesn't mean that it's not happening. I love the fact that we've got Bring Your Ideas to Life and you're being helped together, and they're both blue. So I feel like you guys are really kind of channeling a lot of um, emotions and stuff. So it's, it's almost like <laughs> emotions and stuff. Vicky, what was that? <laughs> so you're basically kind of try not to cling on to the past and you're moving into a new space you're being helped with your ideas so essentially the ideas are going to start to come through and if you're stuck um ask for help they're basically telling you that it, they are here to help you okay so you could be making new friends as well and also these are new ideas could also help you to make new friends you could be wanting to start like a new hobby like a new job that sort of thing so that's basically it i think i don't really feel like i need to say anymore you could also want to listen i feel like you need to listen to more music that makes you happy any music that lifts your vibration is really good also telling me chakra music is going to help some clear some blockages which is really good so let's see what's going to go on for the week ahead so let's have a look for monday what's going to happen for monday for group two please monday we have strength And we also have the world. Gorgeous. Okay, so you're gathering the strength to move forward, to embody a new you, they're telling me. And also the world card is basically saying that the world is your oyster. There's there's times times are changing, they're telling you times are changing and the world is like turning and things are coming in for you and you're going to be kind of in the flow of it, they're telling me, in the flow, which is really, really nice. This is a starting point of something new for you. What's happening on Tuesday, please? have the nine of cups with the six of swords so you're moving into karma waters you're clear as say clearing out old toxic relationships anything toxic that does not serve you anymore you are moving away from it and you're becoming more content with it which is really really nice you're giving yourself that permission to move away from these rocky waters and you also um clearing out old friends and bringing in new friends which is really nice especially that we've got to make new friends that's pretty good so we've got the two of cups for wednesday hierophant we have one more please for two of cups and we also have the nine of pentacles so i feel like you guys are they're telling me going from single to a relationship so if you are single i see this happening because all these cards are literally pointing to like getting together with somebody because we've got the coming together with two people, emotional stability. And then we've got someone's like seeing you in this single kind of mode. And they're like, let's change that. Let's make this something official. And yeah, if that's not that, I can see you maybe conversing with someone new. Who sees you as someone who's really kind of independent. And also they're telling me setting down layers, setting, light, setting down foundations for yourself that is going to be emotionally stable for you. So that's really, really nice. I love that. So let's see... <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see what's happening on Thursday for group number two. Thursday, please. What's happening on Thursday? Thank you very much. We have the nine of wands and the four of wands. Group one got this as well, which is so... They literally got this combination on the same day. That's so funny. Okay, so can we get one more card for Thursday, please? We have pentacles and one more. Okay, so you are going to be hard at work on Thursday and you're going to come to some sort of completion, as they're telling me. Um, there's going to be some sort of money that's going to come in or you're investing more time into your money. They're telling me stop clinging on to the past if you are <coughs> because it's going to stop your flow. But we also have victory with the four of wands, which essentially means coming together with somebody foundations being set you literally when i said laying your foundation this is literally you laying your foundation and they're telling me don't be scared of any new opportunities that are coming in because they're really really good for you and they're going to help you get more work they're telling me and also i can see you being very successful in your business that you have created or kind of work wise i feel like money you're going to be really really good with that so that's fine let's see you on friday please okay can we have a clarifier for the seven of swords please Okay, so three of pentacles and one more please. 
Okie dokie. So I feel like someone could be getting in the way of someone you like. Um, also, someone from um, who wants to come in um, could be a little bit distracted in a third party. But I, I feel like this is actually coming together. So this could also be coming together. This is going to be different for everybody. But I definitely feel like with the Knight of Cups, this is my favourite card. I love this card. It's so cute. Um, with the Knight of Cups, I feel like you guys are going to be either offering something to somebody or they're offering something to you. But I feel like underneath, we where we have underneath, we have the Seven of Swords. So it's going to be a little bit sneaky or someone's going to have this kind of pattern of wanting to sneakily walk away without you kind of realising. But basically they're going to start realising that this is a pattern and this is something underneath so just be careful of that. But this could also mean they're sneakily like walking into your life so you won't really expect it happening because there's also the community of the Three of Pentacles. So it's coming together of some sort and building something together and that's going to happen on Friday. So what's going to happen on Saturday please? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, start off with Saturday first. Page of Cups, gorgeous. That's so nice. Oh, oh my God, guys. You've got the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Wow, this is so nice. So I feel like, oh my God, they're telling me this so clearly, right? So we've got the, if you are dealing with somebody, this is what I'm seeing. Obviously this might not resonate, but this is what I'm seeing. So we've got you are on your own, kind of building up your strength and turning, the wheel is turning and you're going into essentially a new life path, a new life for yourself. You're moving away from old, emotions and you're moving into something much more emotionally stable and you're going to be more content once you're once you've figured out this sort of like getting away from the rockiness of the emotions and you're coming into calmer waters you're going to be seen as this gorgeous kind of single lovely person who is going to be collaborating with people if you're in a relationship this is going to attend to someone who's going to help you maybe it's going to be like a best friend a new best friend or it's going to be someone who's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you for singles this is going to be someone you're going to be coming together with and you're going to be setting a solid foundation on the thursday on friday there's going to be a, a settling of kind of coming together figuring out what you want to do in this situation emotional stability and kind of dealing with old patterns that need to be released and then figuring that out once that's figured out on saturday the emotions are going to be flowing so well we've got the page of cups and the ace of cups meaning there's going to be a new relationship setting could also be with a pisces and there's going to be emotional fulfillment and flow so what's going to happen on sunday i'm excited to see what's going to happen on sunday what's going to happen on sunday we've got the emperor and we also have the four of pentacles can we get one more please the lovers gorgeous oh my god guys you could also be dealing with a gemini i'm seeing of uh, leo here um earth signs as well virgo capricorn and virgo capricorn and what's the other one i've totally forgotten taurus <laughs> wow my brain is like had a massive brain fart then so basically you're going to be enjoying this relationship you both are very strong individuals you kind of like you're over telling me overlooking your kingdom now so you're looking over at all the achievements that you've gained up until this point and just be careful they tell me be careful not to share too much at the start of saying um if this is a new person keep yourself to yourself uh, but do things that feel comfortable for you and I can see you establishing a really nice relationship. So obviously if this isn't if you are in a relationship, this is gonna be different for everybody else, but if you're in a relationship, I see you establishing more of a common ground with your partner. I feel like it could have been a little bit rocky, but now you're kind of establishing more of kind of especially if this is a new relationship, if it's somebody you're already with, then I feel like this is just generally you enjoying each other's company, especially on the weekend. I feel like you guys aren't working, so you're gonna be enjoying each other's company and I feel like you both Maybe a little bit stingy on money, but I feel like you guys are going to be coming into, you're just trying to figure out how to control um, both yourself. You'll kind of be individuals on your own and then you're coming together as in like you're both strong individuals coming together to create this gorgeous kind of um, earthy energy, which is really, really lovely. All very nice, very grounded. And I hope this resonates with you. So I, I re, yeah, I really hope this resonates with you. Uh, maybe come back to this after the week has been done and then you can see if this resonated with you. I really hope it did. If it didn't, then that's totally fine. Just let it fly. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you would, okay, there's one thing. They tell me one thing before I go. So basically with this card, this guy has a white hand and this, I don't know if it's like a coloring sort of thing because obviously these cards are quite old, but he has like a, normal hand it has a white hand with like a glove on it looks like a glove i feel like there's something something is coming off the glove is coming off 
and things are being revealed they're telling me okay and there's also mirroring you two there's two two people mirroring each other and coming together which is really really nice love it so much emotions are flowing i love it so thank you so much for watching i literally put, physically put my arms up in the air like really happy for you guys thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to please subscribe down below click the bell click that bell, click that button oh my god my voice today my words click that button down below and if you would like to um get a private reader with me my 25 minute readings are only 19 pounds 95 so all that information is down below thank you for watching and i will see you all very soon bye hello group number three let's see what you guys got for the week for full moon in scorpio we have sexuality in a child and romantic partner wow it's just really nice we've got treasure chest and embrace in between so i feel like you guys are in an in-between stage at the moment you guys are kind of figuring out what you want out of life and kind of thinking oh i want things to move but basically what they're telling me is you're, you've been hearing a lot of um past family patterns and your inner child has been really thanking you for this and you're almost going to be moving into a whole new stage where you're going to be meeting a romantic partner as well if that's what you're looking for i feel like you're also kind of improving your relationship with your body and your the way you present yourself in relationships let's move that down there the way you present yourself in relationships and how that affects you and the other person you're trying to figure out is this person the right person for me and also how you relate to sex as well um how you are intimate with somebody and how this affects your own emotions and just trying to protect yourself really and just kind of keep yourself to yourself but kind of give yourself permission to share but not too much because it's like you're being careful about what you're sharing i'm seeing with people but it's just a, a balance you're creating this balance for yourself and it's also really good that you're focusing on yourself in this way because it's very very important to do relationships if that's what you're looking for we also have a treasure chest an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now so literally i feel like this week is going to be like rolling i see like someone pushing a car down a hill not in a bad way but like the car's like rolling 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 but it just needs to get off that tiny little bit of like it needs to get off the top of the hill to move down towards the bottom of the hill so it's like once the ball once the ball gets rolling it will keep rolling which is really really good so you may be in an in-between stage at the moment but it won't last for long and also embrace it they're telling me embrace 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 because it's all going to be really really good and i see you possibly meeting somebody new as well if this is a romantic partner that you want to see and want to meet up with then this could be a new romantic partner that you are going to be engaging with this could also be a reconciliation with someone who you want to get with um and want to be with okay get with and want to be with so let's see what's going to happen for you on monday for group number three please Okay, two cards right out the back we have the eight of cups with the page of pentacles moving away from something that doesn't serve you and moving into something much more fulfilling financially and emotionally gorgeous setting those foundations for yourself for a new start you could be having starting a new job or wanting to start a new job and this could be the day where it's going to happen we have the hierophant and strength and wednesday We have the page of wands and temperance thursday <coughs> excuse me we have the six of cups and we also have the king of pentacles so with tuesday we have the hierophant and the strength can we have one more card for the hierophant oh okay king of cups which is really funny because we had the knight of cups underneath and it came out and i was waiting to see if i should actually pull that or not so we've got the king of cups instead so yes that was meant to come out so you are dealing with your own emotions and having the strength to go forward and establish possibly a new relationship and you're learning how to balance your own emotions on tuesday and wednesday as well and i feel like these two days are quite closely connected because there's a lot of emotional energy going on here and um, you could also be dealing with a water sign or a air or earth sign we also do you know what any sign to be fair <laughs> like i'm seeing pisces leo aquarius uh what else am i feeling taurus virgo capricorn any of the air signs basically any sign but those are the ones that i kind of picked out so yeah i feel like you guys are dealing having the strength to deal with some sort of emotions that are coming out i feel like there's a much more emotional flow starting on tuesday so once you've almost let go of all the old stuff it's going to start coming in more stable on 
Tuesday, from Monday to Tuesday, yeah. On Monday, yeah, moving away and choose moving away from old emotions. And Tuesday, you're moving into something much more strengthened, basically. On Wednesday, we have balance with the page of wands. So temperance with the page of wands. So yeah, balance, and you're looking out to a new start. You're waiting for this balance to come in essentially before you can restart up. Then we also have on Thursday, we have the Six of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. But this is telling me balancing out your money as well. Um, there could also be someone you're going to be conversing with from your past who's an earth sign. Um, this could also mean that you're establishing stronger boundaries with an earth sign, they're telling me. And also you're kind of looking into the past and seeing kind of what can we change by moving forward as well. Um, it's kind of so many messages, I don't really know which one to pick. Yeah, they're telling you just emotional stability with an earth sign or you're, or you're becoming more grounded as well someone could be coming up from your past as well reconciliation as well so yeah what's happening on friday on friday we have the ace of wands with the six of pentacles i love this combination because it basically means that you guys are going to be having a very balanced relationship with somebody someone who's going to be coming in someone who you could be reconciling with or it could just be somebody who just comes in it also could be an opportunity of some sort of work that sort of thing so many opportunities so many options and also there's balance here which is really really nice and a balanced give and take saturday please what's gonna happen on saturday we've got the knight of wands with the three of swords can we have one more please oh two more okay the moon and the ten of wands can we have sunday please the empress and the three of pentacles so on saturday and sunday you are establishing your boundaries with other people and your boundaries that you set for yourself and you're going to be ending a cycle that was toxic for you that is emotionally toxic and you're moving away from a lot of hidden emotions that are now coming up to the surface and you're now almost like letting them go because you're now aware of what they are if you don't actually know what they are they might just suddenly come up and you're like why am i crying and then <laughs> they could just be released so essentially you're letting go of something and you're starting a new journey and then you're going to be coming into a more stable area of your life you're going to be becoming more stable and you're becoming you're going to be rebirthing a new life for yourself where you're going to be more closer with people you're going to be coming into a time where you're going to be collaborating and people are going to be seeing you for the gorgeous empress that you are i say not ginger gender specific i always say this so yeah so empress or it could be a man as well feminine or masculine energy but this is a feminine energy that's coming forward here so basically just giving birth to something that is new and coming together with people so thank you so much for watching if this resonated please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe that red button is down below please click it if you'd like to subscribe i'm also doing a may sale on my readings if you'd like to get a 25 minute reading for only 19 pounds 95 then all that information is down below and i'll speak to you very very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video and for being here let's see what you guys got for the full moon in scorpio for the week so let's see what's coming up for you in the week we have moving forward fearlessly, kick up your heels, collaborate, and spirit, and we also have breakthrough. Basically, you guys are moving forward to a much happier state. You could be coming into a new relationship as well. I feel like you're actually coming into a new relationship with yourself because you're collaborating with your, like, you're coming together, the puzzle pieces are fitting together, and you're breaking free from old patterns and you're basically just coming into a new life which is absolutely amazing i see a lot of forward movement i see an earth sign coming forward you could also just be dipping your toe into something as well starting some sort of new venture for yourself try new ventures and experience as try new ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn so essentially you could want to start something new you could want to start a new job a new hobby a new project that sort of thing they're telling me that happiness is going to come from times where you're not focusing on the future so basically just focus on what's happening now remember to kick up your heels and do things that really make you feel really happy and really good and don't worry you're moving forward fearlessly you're going to start collaborating with people you're going to start coming together with people who really matter some deep relationships are going to be formed you could also be starting to find people who are more on your tribe on your on your level and you're basically going to break free from a lot of old stuff which is amazing this is great guys i love this so 
let's see what you guys got for each day of the week for group number four let's see i want to pull a romance angel card for you as well so let's see what's happening in love for group number four please thank you got this could be the one calling in your soulmate and romantic feelings gorgeous so basically there could be somebody who you want to reconcile with that is going to happen they're telling me um because you're ready now you have um something about external you have shed your external skin and you're coming into a more newer kind of gorgeous like look at me look at me everyone look how much effort i've put into myself and how much like oh, effort i put into myself like look how much i've changed look how much i've evolved because you're calling your soulmate this could be one and you're going to have romantic feelings for this person it said you've already met the romantic partner you seek so it say you could be already be in a relationship but for people who are single you could already know this person or they could be somebody who you want to reconcile with and i feel like this is going to come into play because i feel like you both are now ready i feel like somebody could also have blue eyes because i'm really looking at this person they have blue eyes and um, they can also have brown hair um or dark brown hair if they're a girl i'm seeing blonde or ginger or brown hair as well so basically all their hair colors essentially and um, there could also be a connection to flowers as well i'm seeing um but yeah this is going to be this could be the one there's going to be somebody coming in for you that's really really good if there isn't anybody who you know then there's going to be someone who you're attracting if they don't come in this week it doesn't mean they're not going to come in at all it means they're going to come in when you're ready and um, divine timing but there is somebody coming in and you are calling in your soulmate so let's see what's going to happen for monday whoa okay okay so we have the two of pentacles the page of pentacles and the chariot gorgeous this is for monday so i see you coming more into balance with your finances for sure and you're going towards something that's much more balanced much and a new venture to do with money as well this could also just mean genuinely balancing your financial life with your maybe your love life or you're you're trying to find more emotional stability with your finances you're moving towards something what are we moving towards they're telling me emotional stability and financial stability which is really good you could also be establishing a relationship with a Virgo as well someone also maybe a Cancerian too just any earth sign I'm seeing so Virgo Capricorn or Taurus um or a Cancerian please clarify this four of cups thank you came up before I ended that um <laughs> it does it does do that sometimes it comes up before I actually say something and I'm like damn <laughs> Bam. So underneath they're telling me they're telling me look underneath we have the two of cups. So essentially you could be meeting somebody who you might not actually see yet. You might know them but you might not see them coming. They're telling me that there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes that you might not even be aware of. And you're moving away from something. You could also be moving away from an offer um that could be offering to you but also it could also mean that you're moving away from things that don't serve you and you're going to be given a much more the stable offer so let's see what's going to happen on wednesday on wednesday we have the page of wands clarified with the ace of pentacles gorgeous and the full oh this is so nice this is like such new fresh energy i'm getting like i feel like you take a breath i feel like breath of fresh air they're telling me because i feel like you two are coming together also you two could be, two people could be coming together from like different countries um from a long time of not seeing each other i'm seeing reunion and also i'm seeing new opportunities are bounding towards you so something is going to be coming towards you really quickly i think that's what that is you're moving away from also toxicity i feel like you could also actually be moving away from an, a, a water sign like a cancerian not not scorpio or pisces just literally a cancerian i think also you, you could or you could be moving towards them uh various messages as is a general reading we also have with the ace of pentacles there's just like an offering and it's like i feel like someone's gonna offer you something like offer you a job as well but yeah infinite possibilities what's happening on thursday please we have the ten of wands with the hierophant one more card please the hangman okay so you could be letting go of an old relationship or old family patterns an old kind of life cycle and you're moving into something that's a bit more stable or well, a lot more stable but basically it's like you've got to be 
you got to think about this before you move into it because it could be because where it could be something quite new you could also be establishing a relationship with somebody but you're kind of thinking do i really want to do this sort of thing but also because you're going to be moving into a new relationship this could mean that you are seeing a new perspective on them they're showing you my stomach just rumbled <laughs> they're showing you a new perspective um of life but they could also have a new perspective on life so yeah let's see what's happening on friday on friday we have the queen of swords and the judgment gorgeous so you're setting down boundaries with somebody or yourself you are deciding this is what i want let's go towards that you could also have communication for somebody or you're communicating with someone very firmly telling them this is what i want if you can't get if you can't give that to me then off you pop off you go they're telling me which is really good they're telling me the word responsible so i feel like you're being responsible for your actions and you're showing them how to be responsible for their actions basically they're basically telling me that you're not responsible for anybody else's reaction so if that resonates then let me know I've got the king of cups gorgeous so essentially you're setting boundaries and then this king of cups like yeah let's stay let's be together so essentially this person could also be a pisces or a earth sign of some sort virgo taurus capricorn and they're basically setting down boundaries with you um you are showing them um that this is how i want it to be and if this is reconciling with somebody you're basically saying i'm not going to part with any bullshit and the emotions are there between you two this could also just mean that you are becoming more emotionally stable around your finances and money or just generally so we have the nine of wands on sunday what else is gonna happen on sunday please oh my god the two of cups ah that's so cool so this is when it's going to start coming in and there's going to be establishing boundaries strong both of you are like coming together like as both responsible responsible adults mature matured and you've you've had time for yourself on your own and now you're going to be coming together if this isn't a union with a partner this could just mean that maybe if you've had a fight with a partner that you're already with this could just mean that you've now kind of had time apart and you're now thinking okay i'm more responsible for what i am i feel like i'm more a responsible adult things are going to be coming in more for you this is coming in really really strong I just i'm not sure if it's like a partner but i think it, it could be a partner as well but if it's not a partner um basically you are just setting strong boundaries of yourself and more people are wanting to come in for you basically strong emotional relationships coming in so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a big thumbs up um also my prices have gone down from 22 to 19 pounds 95 and if you would like to hit me up on that offer, then please let me know. And also please subscribe down below if you would like to. And comment down below if this resonated and like this video. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.